Okay, folks, we are here live for Tuesday's Be Better Tuesday hangout session, and uh, I've invited uh, quite a few folks. We'll see who shows up here. Um, this is being recorded, so as soon as it's done, you'll have the replay up uh, so that you can watch it and uh, catch anything that you might have missed. Um, I'm going to give everybody a few minutes to get on here. Uh, do pop pops on, so we'll uh, take it from there. From there, I got a couple. I got a couple of couple of good artists to talk about tonight. Um, oh, that. Oh, that. Uh, let me see what's going on here. Here. Um, Should be the right, right thing. Let's just see if anybody's ready to work. There's Jenny. How you doing, John? I was yeah. thinking if that link was working, working. I was kind of like, I was hoping, I was hoping I had the right one there. <laughs> I don't know why this is not. It's, it sounds very staticky. Yeah. I, what's going on? Going on uh, Do I sound staticky? Like you sound like you sound staticky and like it's like a stuttering kind of as it's coming across. Yeah. yeah. I think so. No, you sound fine. Uh, it might be my web kit that I'm using. I don't know. I'm not using my uh, built-in webcam. I'm using my external one. Hmm. Maybe we'll see if anybody else gets on and uh, if they can, if it sounds funky to them or not. Yeah. Um, so how's it been going? It's going good. I've been working like crazy. Yeah. Been spent the last two days uh well actually the last three days over at my daughter's house um getting her sprinkler system all fixed that was oh, it so, the weather's been kind of crappy too oh i know it um uh, yeah we went over there i actually took off uh half a day today so i and yesterday so i could go over there and and get everything finished and i went over to motor yard stuff for today because they don't have a lawnmower yet so because mm. they they just moved from an apartment to the to a new house and so they just bought a house so they're just starting to get everything put together and uh the people that lived there before uh apparently they had a, a big tree in their backyard and one of the storm storms get out and and, uh, and and it tore out for the sprinkler lines. So we have we have a lot of packing and repairing to do. But uh, to get everything working, so I didn't have to spend a whole lot. Of money. Yeah, we have been cutting down a tree in my daughter's backyard too. My husband's been cutting it down. Got most of it down. So, so you're getting frustrated, frustrated with your 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 weight loss and stuff, huh? Huh? 
I said, I heard you're getting a little bit fr frustrated with not being a loser. Or are you you're kind of stalemated a little bit, a little bit? Oh, gosh, yeah. I don't know. I, I think a lot of it has to do with my medications. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Halloween, Halloween, I was in Montana, Montana. and I lost down, I, I was down 30 pounds at that point. Yeah, yeah. I, but I was, I got really sick. And I lost like eight pounds in like three days because I when I was sick as a dog. Uh, Once I got feeling better, I put back on like ten pounds just like that. And I was still following the keto and everything, whatever, and everything. Yeah. And then when I had the accident, you know, I ate crappy and stuff and didn't take my keto like I was supposed to. Went up even more, more. And now I'm now I'm fluctuating between seventeen and twenty one pounds of loss. Is where I'm yeah. saying. I'm saying. I mean, like, I just got finished with dinner, and I had a little yeah. piece of baked chicken and broccoli and cauliflower smothered in butter. butter. Yeah. That's, that's how I'm eating, and it's like one thing. I think I'm not eating. I, I don't know if it could be. Might not be eating but, enough. But if I'm not hungry, they say don't eat. Well, well I know a lot. Of, a lot of articles you read that I've been reading and reading in ways. Uh, so that if, you're, if, you're, if your calorie dead is too low, too low, you're supposed to stay in starvation mode. mode. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, so, I started doing like, yeah, I got hard salami and cream cheese. Yeah. And in the middle of the day, I'll do that. Yeah. Today I had, uh, uh, I'm starting to try, so to, other than dinner, today I had um, pepperoni chips and some olives. You yeah. know. Yeah. I'm not though, and I uh, drank a full packet of keto too. Well, I know, but I don't know. As as I'm, I'm kind of funny like that. I mean, like I fixed a great big meatloaf tonight. I didn't use. Uh, I used uh, uh, the spicy pork rinds instead of crackers. Um, that sounds good. I put onion, jalapeno. Uh, a couple of eggs and a little bit of cream in there, and because uh, I I don't like unlike my awesome wife I don't like mushy meatloaf I like it kind of solid and right. maybe even just a little bit on the dry side but not quite you know uh, see, that's how my kids like it but I'm like meatloaf's supposed to have a little bit of moisture to it because I put like a can of tomato sauce in there and. Oh. No, that's the way my wife fixes it. Because <laughs> I like it. I guess maybe Most because mashed I'm, potatoes and gravy with that, and you got a meal. <laughs> I, I guess maybe because I'm used to having leftovers, and I like to thin slice it. And right. I like to thin thin slice it in sandwiches, sandwiches of it. Right. Right. And right now, uh, too, too moist, it wouldn't, it wouldn't hold me great, you know. I, that's just it's just me. I, I just that sounds good though. Yeah. The jalapenos and stuff in it. I prefer jalapenos in it over bell pepper. I don't like bell peppers. And then I steamed up, I up, up a bunch get of, out of this and get back into it because I don't know why, but I can barely. I it's like you are so staticky. And I, I uh, uh, steamed a bunch of cauliflower, flour, broccoli, and made a tomato cheese sauce. That sounds good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave, and then we'll come back and see if that helps. <laughs> okay, let me see this. See if this works better. <sighs> For crap's sake. That's weird. I don't know how I got it. Okay. Let's see if that's better. Can is mine better? I know my picture's better. At least. Oh I yeah, that's much better. Okay. Yeah, so I, Amanda Rubin's trying to get in, so let me see if she she said it won't let her in for some reason. So I'm oh. gonna click over real quick and see what she's saying. Okay. 
How the hell did they find mud, Jared? Holy shit. You need to send me that picture. Where did they find mud at? I don't know, but there are drains. You're giving both of them a bath. I think your dog shampoo is in the shower. I know. <laughs> yeah. My, my dog and my son's dog are like covered in mud, head to toe. I was like, mm, you get to bathe them, not me. <laughs> well, that's with my two little pups, those little sharkies, when they get out in the backyard, they're, they're, they're gone like a bat out of hell all over the yard. And they, we, it seems like at least once a day we end up giving them a bath. If there's been any kind of rain at all, they'll find mud to run in and, and, oh, run yeah. in and play in and, and just, turn themselves into a big old mess. So your friend's not able to get in or what? Um, well, she just said, dang, I can't get into mine. And I just said, do you have a Gmail? She needs to just click on it and then make sure. Right. Just click on the image where it says Hangouts and it'll take her right to here. See if it, I just said, just click on the image. It'll take you right to it. Then you may have to click on allow because I had to click on allow. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little box in there that you have to click on. To... Yeah, I just switched back over to my uh, eye camera instead of my, instead of my webcam. Huh, that's weird because I, I don't know. It was really staticky, but it sounds fine now. Yeah, I think it was just my, my little webcam. Because I run a lot of times when I'm doing like uh, just little help videos and stuff, I just do it with my webcam because it's a lot easier. Um, but um, the thing with my iCam, and for whatever reason, I can't figure out when I use it, I got to tilt my screen way back just so that it gets me in the frame, you know? Oh. Otherwise, it only shows about this much in my head. Yeah, I had to tilt mine a little bit, too. I probably should tilt it more, but... You would think there'd be a way to focus the darn thing, you know, but I haven't been able to figure it out. But uh, I don't know. I, I'm, you, I know you probably read a lot of uh, articles and stuff, but I'm going to... Uh, paste this one into the chat for you just so that you can have it. Um, it's a pretty good article about weight stalling. Okay, cool. <laughs> and it, it goes through a lot of stuff, you know, and it tells you, you know, gives, there's like 11 different steps that you can go through or 12, no, let's, let's see, there's 13 different steps that you can go through to make sure you're not doing one of these things because they can all, I guess, cause uh, cause you to stall in your weight loss or your fat loss. Well, you I'll that. tell you. I know. I, I mean, I can't blame anybody but myself. And like I said, I think a lot of it is I'm not eating enough. But <clears throat> I'm going off of them saying, if you're not hungry, don't eat. I'm trying to incorporate more fat. But I am still on Percocet and that muscle relax. And I, even though I'm only taking it at bedtime. Uh-huh. It's still in my system, and I know that that kind of it it stops everything. It just and yeah. the fact that I can't do much of anything. But I do have to show you. Look at this cool thing right here. Can you see it? Yeah. It's a it's an old Schwinn exercise with the bike with the wheel. Yeah, my mom used to have one of those. It's such a mint condition. My <laughs> husband and I went to um, an estate sale this weekend. It was in Clarkville on uh, 300 North or in yeah. Clinton or whatever. Uh -huh. And we bid on it at auction there and got it for like 65 bucks. Oh, that's cool. So I can do that. I can walk, but I can't do like my elliptical. I can't use. Yeah, because of the impact. Yeah, I can't lift over 10 pounds. I mean, I can't do a lot. So I think that's holding me back. And then... I mean, I think I'm like, I'm trying, I don't feel depressed, but I feel stressed out. Like, yeah. 
yesterday I was really angry. I didn't even want to be on the computer because I was so, all I wanted to do was punch out the, every window in my house. <laughs> I'm, I'm frustrated about like finances, about how slow proof it's going. I'm just, I mean, the only thing I seem to think that I'm kind of excited about is how traffic monsoon is growing for me because prove it's not really doing much. And I think it's irritating me. And then it's hard because I'm stalled, even though I know I'm doing the right stuff. Yeah. That it feels like I don't want to be a, like a, a liar. You know what I mean? I can tell you how great everything is. Right. But it's like... If, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know that's, that's problem is, you know, I mean, it can be a problem and you just got to keep pushing through, you know? And, yeah. Uh, well, I've got those big events coming up this weekend. So I think I decided how I'm going to do those. Um, I'm going to um, get those plastic, um, Frames, or if I if I may even just go and get regular picture frames uh -huh. and put out there, and I'm going to do on one side of my table, I'm going to do like a five day experience, ten day experience, and then kind of put on there what they should expect, right? So people can kind of pre sell those uh -huh. because I'm not going to have any to to sell them right then. Plus, I want their information so I can contact them. I don't want it to just right. be I give it to them and never can't find them again. You know. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to do that and I'm going to do a drawing for a free 10 day experience. And of course that's going to be based on how much sales I do, whether I'm going to do yeah. that way or not. <laughs> and then, um, I've got some brochures that I've got to make some labels for. And then I printed out like these cause you know, I, I was telling Debbie, I'm like, I, I hate it because what when you have photos and stuff all it's showing is weight loss it's not showing all the other stuff that keto does for people right right because everybody's like well you say it's not a weight loss but look at all these pictures of people and they've lost all this weight yeah yeah so how so what i did is that i went through and you see these right here i right. printed them off with their story and i'm going to have a book of stories like this gal is back surgery and then i've got another one chronic hives you know, and I'm just, just different things, and I'm going to put it in a binder. This That's little a idea. Suna kid, the one that had the autism or whatever he has, yeah. I can't remember. But ADD or something. Oh, seizures. That's a really good idea, though. Put those in a book so it's not like, you know, yeah, you know, and let people know, you know. Pictures pictures are going to, can't, pictures can show you. The aftermath of being healthy, but it can't tell you what ha what they were going through before. Right. So I kind of want to do a binder with these in it. Yeah, that'll work really good. I think that's a really good idea. Never thought of that one before. Because I mean, you know, the it's like, oh well, you say it's not a weight loss product, but right. yeah. and Debbie was saying they're actually trying to get it um, instead of making it considered a supplement uh, as a food product. Yeah. And that would be awesome because really technically it is a food product. Right, yeah. I think so. I, yeah, it it's basically is because, um, well, it's kind of a byproduct of your food, but. Right. Where but, the heck is everybody? <laughs> I, I just sent another message out saying that we're live. Come on in and join us. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're not as popular as Debbie is, or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I thought for sure she was going to run this one, and then she had another meeting that came up at seven thirty. So. Oh, she did. So she's not even going to come on at all. Probably not. She didn't know how long it was going to. Well, there was a two-hour difference, and I don't know what she didn't say anything about what kind of meeting it was or anything. So I don't know. But. Uh, I just, I wanted, to, I didn't really um, have a chance to prepare like I did on the last couple ones and get a bunch of articles and everything, but uh, this one I thought was worth sharing because it's got some good information in it, you know, 
lack of sleep, stress management, uh, leptin and satiety, too much exercise, uh, you know, and then it gives you some tips on don't weigh yourself and uh, try to include yeah. more coconut oil or may and, and omega-3 fatty acids, blah, blah, blah. And there's a lot of stuff in there, but, um, you know, it says you got to even watch, like, your your – Low carb treats and stuff, because mm -hmm. you know it can. Those calories all add up. Over snack, the calories will add up. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I just I found a I've been reading that article about how to use that that keto diet buddy and I. What's keto diet buddy? Huh? What's the keto diet buddy? It's a. It's a little program that shows you how to figure out your your macros and crap like that is it an app on your phone um no it's actually uh let's see where is it here i know there's a it's in they they even have a they link to it in this article the one you just clicked that you just did for me yeah yeah um i'm trying to see where it was at um I know I saw it. Uh, I mean, I feel like my clothes are fitting better still, even though the scale's not dropping. And like my daughters told me, you know, I'm jealous, mom, you look so thin. And um, because she's struggling, but she won't give up Pepsi and Taco Bell and, you know, crap yeah. food. So. And I know, my, I daughter, my other daughter's like, Mom, you're doing really good. I'm proud of you and all that. So, I mean, I know it. I know it's working, but I just don't feel like it's working as fast as like, come on, look at Billy. He's yeah. like 250 to two, or 350 to 215. I know, huh? That's Holy good. shit, I want to lose even 50 pounds. I'd be happy. <laughs> I can't get past damn 20. It's like my body's not, not convinced I'm serious or something. Yeah. Oh, there's right here is the link for that keto diet buddy thing it, it goes to the page that where it's at i'm on that one i'm on that not losing weight that i clicked on the link you just put up there oh you okay. gave me a different link too yeah there's one right below that this one right here okay oh, okay keto diet dot com forward slash blog love keto diet buddy okay i see it yeah that's uh, uh, that's just kind of shows you how to figure out your your uh, macros and stuff. I I still can't figure out. You know I don't know how to determine what my percentage of body fat is unless I go have it tested somewhere. But you know that's just anyways. There's just a lot of different. I like a lot of these things. This keto diet blog has a lot of good information in it. That's one of the other ones that I like to watch. I I follow on this blog because I like a lot of her stuff that she puts in here. Let's see. My computer's working really slow right now. For some reason. Like, hey, the dog's going crazy, huh? I know, man. Hey, you two, quit. See, and I don't see. I just can't. I can't agree with this. <clears throat> Which one? Uh... Okay, so. It's telling me to maintain that I should be having 1,895 calories a day and my fat should be 161 grams of fat, 86 grams of protein, and 25 grams of carbs. Now. Or a little bit lower. Yeah. So if I want to lose weight, so it tells me that I should have. I should be consuming 1,440 calories a day. My fat intake should be 100 and, oh, no, 
1,667 calories a day, unless I do a large calorie deficit, which I, sh I should be doing the larger calorie deficit. Okay, 1,213 calories a day, 85 grams of fat, 86 grams of protein, and 25 of carbs. Yeah. So my macros at that point would be for the large calorie deficit would be 8% of carbs 28 protein and 64 and that's yeah. not really right is it um yeah it's about right they they figure what was the maximum they were saying um uh, where the hell was it uh because you figure a percentage of your protein is for for every pound of of lean muscle and, yeah and like some of this like i said i don't know how you would unless you went down and had a uh what do they call it a um, body mass test to figure out what your ratios are i don't know how you could be t real accurate on this anyways right you know. Because if I do like the small, the small calorie deficit makes more sense to me because it's a higher percentage of fat and a lower percentage of carbs. So it's like 5%, 21%, 74%. Right. Yeah. And they said that, uh, here it is. It's like, uh, your multiplying factor should be, uh, for protein should be 0.6 to one gram per pound of lean mass. So, like I said, you know, I mean, the only way you can tell that is to go have one of those BMI tests done, and and I'm not going to pay somebody to do that. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it would be kind of fun to go and, and see what it actually is, you know, but uh, I know they were doing it at, at, our, at the base gym for a while, but it was, I think it was like 45 bucks to have the test done. I was like, nah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy yeah but you know uh i think you know you can you can get it i think you can get it fairly close if you just go by your go by the standard recommended weight for your height i guess that would give you what your be real close to what your lean body mass would be i suppose But uh, I don't know. I I uh, they give a they give a pretty good. If you go down to the bottom, there it gives a pretty good. Yeah, I'm scrolling through a pictorial down there of what what your body style is and what your uh, maybe your percentage of body fat would be if you were if you looked like that. I don't know. That's just kind of weird, but it says too much exercise. That's kind of crazy. Well, yeah, because uh, if you're exercising too much and you're not getting the the your body requires more protein, and uh, that can lead to a stall in your weight loss. Yeah. But, so, you know, so I need to be between 15 and 18 percent body fat, and the last time I checked, I was like 29.9. Yeah, but I was 43, so I can't really complain. Oh, you know, it's a, it's all a, it's all a numbers game. You know, it's I didn't tell guys. You know, I mean, it's like if you think you're gonna lose it with you know lose all your weight in a month, you're crazy because. No. Number one, it's not good for you. Um, there are exceptions like Billy. I mean, he's lost a lot of weight and in, in, in a relatively short amount of time for the amount of weight he lost. You know, but not everybody's like that. Um, he's he's obviously got a fairly good metabolism to well he's also had to be really strict because of his health issues too right yeah, I think yeah. that forced him to <clears throat> it forced him to uh do better with it yeah 
because he's had to, you know? Right. Yep. But, you know, I mean, uh, I said, I, I got to, my hat's off to Billy because he's been doing super good. He hasn't had hardly any health problems, uh, you know, since he, since he's been on this stuff and, and, uh, it can only get better, you know? Right. Um, but that's what I try to stress with a lot of people is, is you can't stress about this stuff. You just got to go. There's going to be times when you might lose like three or four pounds at once. And then other times when you might not lose hardly anything if, or, and probably even right. a little like bit. Some days I'll lose like 0.8 pounds. Yeah. Something like that. But I don't even, I haven't weighed myself in probably a month. Um, really? But I just, you know, I go over, I do my workouts. Uh, I've went from a size 40 pants down to a loose 36, which is pretty good for me. Uh, I'm on my last notch on my belt. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've I actually had to put two extra holes in my belt to keep my keep it tight enough to That's hold my so pants. Awesome. Hold. But um, hold on, you know it's I, I don't worry about it. You know I I know how I feel. Uh, I have way more energy. Uh, I can bend over without my back hurting. I can do my workout without. Feeling like my heart's gonna blow up on me, and, right? And, uh, you know, I that's that's what I'm looking for. I mean, I'm 61 years old. I'm not gonna be no Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know. I just go over there to work out and just so that I feel better, you know. You don't look it. Uh, you know, like I said, going. <laughs> I wish I would have. I actually did measurements when I first started because I know I've probably lost a lot more inches than I. Yeah, but you're doing awesome. You can't, you can't be stressed about what you're doing because you've done it great. Uh, hey, let me close my door real quick. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Those little like they're like my built-in alarm system. <laughs> That's funny. They're not much for attack dogs, but man, if there's any kind of noise around, they're going to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crazy little dogs. That's funny. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, you can even, I could even see it. I really noticed it in my face, you know, when I first. Oh, yeah. Dropping down, but, uh, yeah, you know, so it, the people that haven't seen me for a while have noticed quite a bit of difference, so. Um, I just keep doing what I'm doing and I don't, I don't stress about macros and all that other crap. I mean, some people probably need to, but, well, hello, Samantha. There you are. Hey. How you doing? Good. Are you driving? I'm riding. <laughs> oh, okay. You better not be driving. Scavenger hunt. I guess it's something called geocaching. Oh, so. I love doing that. Oh, you've heard of it too? Oh, yeah. Me and my wife do it a lot. So they do have it here. Uh, they have it all over the world. Yeah. That's what she was saying. I'm like, I'm going to have to look at that because that might be something fun to try, do something different. Yeah, you can get a, you can get the app on your phone. I did. I put it on there. Did you? It's a lot of fun, and that's... One of the reasons why a lot of people do it is because it teaches them how to use their GPS. That's so funny. Yeah. I've never heard of it before. And I, when she posted about it, I, I private messaged her and said, what the hell is that? Because I didn't want to sound like an idiot on Facebook. Yeah, no, that's fun. It's, hmm. a, it's a good way to get out and even get some exercise, too. Cause, that's what I was uh, thinking. My wife and I, we go out and ride our bikes around. And uh, even down along the rail trail, there's a lot of geocaches down there along that trail. I was wandering up Farmington Canyon, you know, heading up by the waterfall. All, all over the place. Even out. We're hiking. Out by Salt Air. Oh, really? 
there was one that my friend had to wade out. I don't know. It was like uh, almost 200 feet out into the into the lake to get to the where the cache was hid. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah, it was. It was. It was pretty cool. Up in the mountains, all over in the mountains, you can even find them. Hmm. Samantha's uh, hiding from us now. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's fun. Hiding. I enjoyed it. Quit hiding. <laughs> so where are you guys at, Samantha? We're in Moore, Oklahoma. In where? Moore, Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, she, she posted about it the other day, and I didn't respond because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> so so how long have you been geocaching? Um we actually just started as a family the other day. Oh did you? Cool. How how many finds have you got so far? Sixteen. That's good. That's good. We only do a few at a time a few at a few a day. Yeah. The the guy that got me into it at work, he's got like two thousand. Holy cow! Yeah, he he does it all the time. It can be pretty frustrating too, though sometimes. Yeah, we've we've had two that we can't find. Yeah, did you mark them not found? Did you mark them? Uh, one we did, the other one I didn't mark not found just for the simple fact that skunk ran us off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we, we got chased off by a skunk. Oh, that'd be fun. Uh, well, at least that's something that your whole family can be involved in and stuff, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it. It's just you can do it right from your phone. Right. So... That's awesome. It's a, good, it's a good family activity. But yeah, like I said, my wife and I, we like to get on our bikes and go. We go all over the place around here, just even all through town, a lot of around the ponds and stuff around here, and done that rail trail. And That's and so cool. I never, ever, ever knew or heard of anything like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It's a it's a good good time to get out and just get a little bit of exercise and go have some fun. So what and um, and you said you were having some what are your uh, events this weekend? Yeah, the SJS is out at the Ogden Amphitheater. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You were telling me about that. Yep, I'll be out there all day, and then on the twentieth, I'll be at Planet Fitness in the evening. From, I'll get there at like 3.30. Okay. And the 24th and 25th is West Haven Days. Oh, all right. The 24th, I guess, is the um, that night is a huge car show. I just have to go turn my paperwork in for that. I haven't done that yet. Yeah. <clears throat> so I've got a couple of flaky people that keep saying they're going to help me and they're going to do this, and then, oh, I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, um... Because I've told I, I, Lisa Jones, and then her boyfriend is on her team. And he's supposed to be signing up his gym, which is the Performax gym. But now they might be going out of business, oh, which wow. I had mentioned to him that I had heard about before. But he's like, oh, no, no, no. And huh. so first it was West Haven Days. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely I'll be there. And then it was, oh, I, we can't. We have his high school reunion. We forgot that weekend. So I can't, we can't do West Haven Days. And yeah. then the twentieth, we can't do the twentieth because it's his birthday, and so we're gonna be at poker. And we're gonna have a birthday party. Well, and then I told her on the eighteenth we're there all day. Six. When can can you be there most of the day? Can you be there all day? Oh well, where, how late does it go? We're just trying to figure out our schedule. I'm like, if you can't make it, that's fine. I have other people. I mean, my cousin's coming from California. She's gonna be here the whole week to help me. So uh, it's like, I'm not forcing nobody. Well, send me your schedule uh, um, on Facebook or or whatever, and uh, um, if you need some help, I can I can probably get out there. Monday night would be kind of hard, but the rest of them I should be able to come and help you if you need some help. 
Okay, well, I'm thinking it would be beneficial to anybody that wants to come and try to grow their team. Yeah. You know? I mean, because I'm not saying come out there and help and do it for me. I'm like, I'm giving my people on my team an opportunity to come and grow, and they're just like, yeah. obviously you're not freaking serious, or your ass would be taking every advantage. Because I paid for all of it. I paid the $100 for this event for Saturday. Yeah. I'm the one that did the contacts to set up at the gym. And I'm the one that's paying for the West Haven days, which is $35. So if I'm not charging you and I'm giving you an opportunity to grow your business, you're serious enough, you will have your ass there. That's yeah. how I feel about it. You know? Yeah. Well, like I said, send me your schedule. Um, I'm a, I'll, I can even split the cost with you if you want. Well, I'm not worried about that. Well, I just I know, like but... come out and, and, you know, I just like for the 18th, I just need to know who's going to be there so I can get you a free wristband because she only gives you so many. And if Lisa and her guy aren't going to be there, I'm not going to give them a wristband. They'll just pay the five bucks to get in. Yeah. You know? Yep. Well, you know I'd be there if I could. I know. Well, move on up here then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep trying to talk my husband into it. He just ain't going along with it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. We have so much getting fun. Three more years, Brady. Three more years. <laughs> yeah, right. That's sure. all he's got left. Yeah, because that doesn't mean he's gonna move up here. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Uh, uh, I know since Samantha's out there, well, she and she won't get the replay. I mean, she'll get the replay, but the bad thing about the replay is it doesn't. It doesn't show the the group chat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick screen share uh, so that I can show uh, this other information, and they'll be able to uh, they'll be able to go in there and look at it when when they get a chance. So let me do let me do a screen share real quick, and I'll just show her. I'll just show everybody these. Uh, this information that I shared with you, Brandy. Oh, okay. You're talking about the one that I, those links up there that I clicked on. Yeah. Okay. Because cool. those those won't show in. Uh... It's in group chat. Huh? It's in the group chat. I know, but it doesn't show on the recording. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I'm gonna I'm going to uh, do this. Okay. So. Um, this is the Keto Diet blog, uh, and it has some really good information in it. Uh, I love I love the stuff that Martina puts in here. Uh, she's got some really good information. We were uh, messing with it, Samantha, about fix it, like trying to figure out our macros and all that stuff because you know I don't check that. I don't know if you do, and I know that the you know that. app charges. <laughs> so. Yeah. And, and this is this is the the uh, article that I was was referring to, Brandy, because she's kind of stalling on her on her uh, weight and her fat loss, and so this is a really good article that Martina posted on her blog to just give everybody a little heads up and what might be the problems. Uh, and there's like 13 different. Uh, little categories that she's got listed here uh, that might be a problem that some people are having uh, that are causing them to stall out and then down at the bottom it uh, has some more different some more information on on what to be careful about and, and uh, it's a it's a like I said this this whole blog is a really good read and and uh, I keep this. I, I actually follow her blog, so I get all of her updates and everything. Um, and I would suggest that anybody that that uh, likes that enjoys the keto lifestyle uh, would follow her along uh, as much as they do with Dustin Schaefer's uh, information and stuff. You know, I mean, she's got some really good stuff that that pertains to anybody that she covers a lot of different things you got recipes all kinds of stuff in here that uh, that you can look at so 
that might uh, that might help you out and uh, give you some good information that you can use to to uh, keep your uh, keto lifestyle going and make it work the way you want it to work. So uh, that's just one of the things that that I like to share with people that that want to know a little bit more about how I'm losing losing my fat and everything, you know, and and because I I hate it when they call it a weight loss because then then everybody thinks it's just another stupid diet, you know, and it's not. Yeah. It's a, it's a whole lifestyle, and it's not it's not just about what's going on on the outside of you it's a lot of everything that goes on on the inside of you it's your physiology and and stuff that that changes right along with everything else that's working so you know and there's there's some you know people that don't know what this is about you know and, and I'm not afraid to tell them you know I mean it's like hey look you know check this out go read this you know I'm not gonna sit there and try and sell them on something unless they're really interested but um, you know I, I'll give them information if they want you know that and that leads them back to where where I want them to go anyway so it's kind of a subtle approach to saying hey let's why don't you just try this stuff you know and, and you, you never know it might do you some good that's just my way of doing things I guess but Randy do you have a copy of that link um, I actually, yes. Can you send it to me? If I can get my freaking computer to unfreeze. <laughs> I have two of them here. I'll send them both to you. Okay. I don't know why my computer's freezing up on me. I'm telling you what, if that damn cat um, ends up chewing a, core, a hole through my damn cord and ruins my computer because I, I'm going to hurt it. <laughs> Be nice to the kitty. Uh, yeah, me and cats don't get along too well. Either. I mean, I like them. I just want to hold them. I mean, he's sweet, but my hell. How dumb can you be? Quit chewing on stuff. I mean, yeah. seriously. Well, I, I have the same problem with pups, too, though, so, you know, I can't really... I can't do puppies. I can't train them. I always end up with the most stupidest ones you could possibly get. <laughs> I'll take them outside every 20 minutes. I play with them for two hours. I bring them in. They crack my floor every time. Yeah. And then I get frustrated, and I'm done. <laughs> then they gotta go. They gotta find new homes. Yeah. So that's why I got my puppy that is already trained, and I'm good to go. Stella's when she's gone, I probably won't ever have another one. Oh. Uh, that's what everybody says, but... Hold on, it's going to get loud for just a minute. Okay. And maybe I muted it. Okay. Trying to get my link on Traffic Monsoon, and of course it's that one chick that's running her mouth. Oh. <laughs> I don't click on any of them. Do you ever click on any of the links? Sometimes. Do you? I just do it out of curiosity every once in a while just to see what kind of garbage you're peddling. Oh. <laughs> it's amazing how many how many businesses are out there that I've never heard of. You know, it's like, what is that? And I'm not going there and look at it, you know, just to see what it's all about. But. Very few of them I've ever seen actually interest me in anything, so. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to uh, stop my screen sharing now because I just wanted to show, show you guys that blog. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Okay, come on, stop, you dumb thing. There we go. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm glad you guys were able to uh, join up here, and and I'm gonna go over your stuff, uh, Brandy, and and I will 
get back to you tomorrow or yeah just let me know today's the 14th right yeah today's the 14th yeah um I said if you decide you want to come out and you don't have to be out there all day on the 18th just if you just want to come out for a couple of hours I can get you in you can at least talk to some people you know hand out some of your business card whatever you want to do okay. and then go and check out I mean if you want to come all day bring your wife come all day they have battle of the bands told you big boot is the MC um, uh -huh. there's all kinds of stuff going on it's all day long I I'm gonna have a, my son's let me use his laptop so I'm taking that out there um, so they have oh, Wi-Fi definitely. and stuff that's so, cool um, yeah it's, 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 a good, it's a good time I'm so jealous not fair. I'm mad you're not here. I told your husband to send your ass out this way, but you know, you don't listen to me. <laughs> well, it's not like you have not fun out here your own anyway, so. Well, and I'll be doing it again next summer. I just, I really just enjoy it. So this is my, this is my fifth year out being out there. I mean, well, I've been, I'm gonna be there stuff, summer. you know, but. Uh, that's a guarantee. I will be there next summer. Okay. Quit messing with the cords. <laughs> Come here. Come here. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna terminate this little hangout of ours, and, and All right. we'll hopefully we'll have some more people on next week. I don't know why there's not anybody coming on, but I know. Anyways, um, I don't know what Nancy and we're doing anymore. Um, Sharon, I haven't seen her on a hangout for quite a while. So I messaged her too because it shows that she's online, but unless she's driving or something, that's what I, I could uh, think. I don't know. But anyways, uh, thanks for joining me tonight, and we will see you next week. All right, sounds good. All right, have a good night, guys. Thanks, Mike. All right, good night. Have fun on your geocaching. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Bye.